Hey guys, it's Matt from Vagabond Recording. And Greg from Suburban Sound Development. It's time for... Gear Time with Greg. Fantastic. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to be reviewing the base model, the newest addition to the Suburban Sound line, and it is going to be called the... Uh, Dunham Boulevard. Alright, and what is that going to be geared for? Um, it's uh, a little higher than a medium output gain. It's not like your typical like 80s shred metal, like high output humbucker or anything like that, but it's definitely got a little bit of a lift. The, uh, the bridge pickup reads 13.25k uh, on this specific one. Um, I wind per, like wraps per coil, so I go off of that as my you know baseline. It's going to vary a little between each pickup because they're hand wound and there's just no way to completely recreate that. But you'll get the same specifications as far as wraps go and uh, materials that go into each pickup. And this being a base model is open to customization. Right? Yes, yes. Now, what does the base model come with? The base model. Um, these, in particular, come with, um, I believe they call them Neo Toaster uh, pickup covers. Um, that's totally optional. Pickup covers are optional. I just liked them on this. Um, they don't impede the sound so much because all the coils are exposed. It's not like a standard humbucker where you have slugs that are under the cover and then the screws that are exposed and both rows of screws are screws that are fully adjustable it's not like you're stuck with the one row of slugs that are at a predetermined height um, the neck pickup comes with an Alneco eco 3 magnet um, and it is wound to eight and a half k um, so it's just a little hotter than average but not really much and the Alneco 3 lets, uh, lets your notes ring out a little bit more, um, has less pull than most of the other uh, magnet types that are typically used in pickups. Um, as for the bridge, it's got an unoriented Alneco 4 uh, for the main magnet, and then it's got an additional ceramic flanker magnet on the bridge side. Um, so that adds a little bit of bite to it, um, but you still have the smoothness of the Alneco 4. Right on. Now we're going to pit this guy up against the EMG predecessor that it had in it to begin with, correct? Yeah. And that was, the, that was a passive EMG, correct? Yeah, it's an EMG HZ. Um, I'm not sure of the series any further than that. I think all the HZs are the same. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> okay, and if you had a genre you would pick for these pickups, what would you, what would you say? Um, Probably more of like a rock alternative. I mean, they'll they'll do high gain. You, you know, I mean, they, they do run the gamut. Um, they're a little more mid-rangey than uh, your average pickup. But um, if you're into that, then these are for you. Okay, and we're we're going to show two different kinds of playing styles. Not only between me and Greg, but also we have there are different amps, which we're going to talk about our settings in a second, and then also. You know, we're playing different things and we're actually going to have it to some drums and then we're going to solo it out and we're going to do cleans and we're going to do some distortion and like a little hodgepodge of everything. Yeah, we want you guys to have an informed decision before you decide on whether or not you want these. And there will be more of these coming out soon. We'll be doing a video for each one. Yeah, d different uh, types, wound to different specs. Just again, baseline models, they're all up for negotiation. You can have more of this, less of that. If um, one version doesn't do it, uh, you can look at other options or I can custom wind you something. That's what I'm about. Yeah, the, the base models are just for expedience. Yeah, kind of, <laughs> kind of a jumping point. All right, so we're gonna get into our playing and we'll uh, let you guys know what our settings are and I'll try to put a video of our settings as we talk about them. All right, so why don't you go over your settings first on your orange? Uh, I, I'm running an Orange Rocker 30 into a custom suburban sound development cabinet as usual um, with a Selection G12 K85 speaker, uh, 16 ohm. Um, it's ran mono currently. Um, 
my volume on the natural channel, which is basically the clean channel, is like a third of the way up. Um, all that utilizes is the KT77 power tubes that I have in this. There's no tone stack to it. So it's literally just amplified guitar signal through KT77 tubes, and there you go. Um, as far as the gain goes, I have the gain at about 3 o'clock. Uh, so the other, uh, the, the tone controls on the gain channel are uh, at 1 o'clock uh, for the high and the low, and I have the mid slightly pushed there at about 3 o'clock. Um, the volume, it's pretty low. It's uh, about 7 o'clock. So I'm running a Crate 1200H, which is a solid state amp. Um, for the gain channel, I'm using the solo channel uh, because it is more my style. I have the gain at about 11 o'clock. The shape is at noon and the level is uh, also 11 o'clock. And the EQ for that is 11 o'clock on the low, uh, noon for the mids, and 1 o'clock for the highs. The clean channel, I have uh, volume at about 10 o'clock. The low and the high are both at 11, and the mid is at noon. And the, I have some no-name speakers, Pyramid Audio. I don't know if they're no name actually. They were twelve dollars when I bought them, so I'm assuming <laughs> I'm assuming some things. But they're like I said, twelve dollar speakers and my really crappily made handmade two by twelve, which will be replaced with one by Suburban Sound. And uh, I'm using the direct or digital reference D DI one hundred microphone on my cab and we're using the Shure SM fifty seven on the custom Suburban Sound cab. Which really should have a name at some point. <laughs> it should. It should. Uh, this this cabinet's more of a prototype phase one. It was uh, the the first one I chalked up in uh, in my own design for myself. So if somebody else wants one, that's when it'll get a name. So <laughs> be the first to order. Order now, <laughs> as seen on TV. Um, our uh, our Franken guitar today is, uh, I believe, a 2006 Epiphone SG. It was a 400 Custom. Um, came with EMGs, not the EMG Selects that we ran today, but like the Zach Wild set. I'm personally not a fan of those, so they went a long time ago. This thing's been through the ringer, had plenty of pickups and different odds and ends in it. Again, today I'm just running it with a Master Volume and Master Tone. Did not touch the tone all day, so what you're getting is, you know, the normal load of the 500k pots, which are burns, which I highly recommend. Um, and uh, other than that, it's just straight on. Oh, a, how is the how is the middle selector wired? The middle selector is uh, just the two pickups in parallel, so you're just running both humbuckers just straight up. Okay, and we'll have that as one of the options we play through because yeah. we do the bridge the middle, the parallel, and then we do the, the neck. Correct. Um, it's an all mahogany body, mahogany neck. I believe they have scarf joints if you care about that. I have a hand cut brass nut that I made a long time ago though. So I mean, the open strings are gonna be a little more, whatever, metallic sounding I suppose, than <laughs> like your bone or your plastic. This originally had a plastic nut on it. And then um, the lock nut is just very lightly locked. It's not really doing a whole lot um, today. Uh, otherwise, burns, tremolo, uh, vibrato, whatever have you. Um, more or less, it's a European kind of Bigsby, um, but still not really doing any tremolo effects here on the demos. And uh, tune to drop C, uh, playing through Diodario nickel wound, um, the jazz light gauge. Uh, 12 to 52. That's just what I personally run all the time on almost every guitar ever. Unless we're, dro uh, unless we're dropping like A or something like that, then we're talking like 60s or above. But yeah, man strings. <laughs> <laughs> My beauty girl hands can't handle this. We're not talking nines here. We're not talking eights. Get, get out with your 80s shred stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and another caveat we have because we're trying to give you everything that could affect the sound you're hearing, aside from the YouTube compression, <laughs> is this is the room 
that we're recording, we're, we're recording live, so we're not tracking it somewhere else and then playing along to it. This is an untreated, completely untreated room with a window facing a street in an apartment on the third floor. So if it can sound good here, imagine how it can sound when you take it into the studio or you take it into your band practice.
right, so after playing it and hearing the A-B comparison while we were checking it out, you can really tell a difference. And when you listen to Greg's, when we compare it, from the EMG to hit is the Dunham Boulevard, it goes from like an okay sounding guitar, and then it turn, when you hear the other one, the Dunham Boulevard, it sounds like just a finished product, like I've just finished mixing a guitar. And it, it'll make anybody's life easier when they're going to record with this, especially in this style of music. <clears throat> you can hear it on the cleans, you can hear it in the distortion. On the crate, not so much, because it's a, it's a crate. It's a hundred dollar amp. What are you gonna do? Well, and I mean, you also run into the fact that not there's no one pickup out there that does everything, and that's why I make multiples, and you'll be hearing about those later. We've already showcased the custom one he made for my amp in my setup, and you can tell that's it's made for that. Right. So, like you said, not one fits everything, but this one certainly gives everything else a run for its money. <laughs> Because the stock pickup on my Ibanez would have sounded just as muddy as the EMG did. And the Dunham, I think, did an amazing job. And I look forward to seeing you guys play them. If you guys ever order anything of Suburban Sound Development, send us a picture of it. Or a video of you playing it. We'd love to see it. We can feature it in one of our videos. Yeah. Uh, any of his custom stuff, really. Let me know. <laughs> Alright, so thank you guys for sticking around for another video. We hope to see you soon with more of his models, more of his stuff, and we think you're going to enjoy it. Yeah. As Wait. Along with a special episode coming out at some point, as special. I keep alluding to on everything else I do. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we'll see you guys again next time. This has been Gear Time with Greg. Sure. Yeah! Yeah? <laughs> reviewing today from Suburban Sound Development is going to be called the yeah Dun Dunham well I was trying to remember correct Dunham Boulevard I believe yeah, I'm just really gotta yeah now I'm fucking just all over <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dunham Boulevard Jesus Some damn street names <laughs> okay let's uh let's mix that okay <laughs> 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 Thanks for the outtake pod. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <And> another. <laughs>